Quick. I... I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. What happened, Cade? This guy came out of the toilets. He... he was covered in blood. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Better avoid going back to the diner. I have to get out of the district in a hurry. You got a problem, pal? You want to take a picture? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Sir, can I get you something else? No, I, uh, I, don't, I don't need anything, thanks. A large snowy cold front coming down from Canada is bringing temperatures far below normal seasonal averages. New snow is expected to fall throughout the day tomorrow, all along the east coast. Here's a temperature map for your area. Can I do something for you, sir? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought that you were somebody else. Don't worry about it. Can I help you with something, sir? It's horrible. In the toilets, I... I've... It... it wasn't me. I, I'm innocent. You better go and splash a little water on your face, sir. I think that would do you some real good. The knife. I've got to get rid of it. after the beep. Sir? The waitress. She noticed something. I'm done for. Yes? 
I think that you might have forgotten to pay your bill. Oh, yes, of course. I... Excuse me. The bill for the meal. How could I forget that? Quick, before somebody finds the body. Hey, sir, you're not supposed to be on that side of the bar. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna end up by getting myself noticed. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. And that's how my story ends. The police found blood on my clothes and arrested me. So I'll be spending the rest of my days rotting in some prison somewhere. I'll never find out exactly what happened. That cold night in January in the toilet of that restaurant. Because as far as everyone else is concerned, I'm just another killer. That's the end of my story. I wasn't able to take the pressure, so I chose to put a definitive end to all the madness. I'll never know what happened in the restaurant, because in the eyes of the world, I'm just a murderer. Hello, I'm Detective Carla Valenti, NYPD. You are Lucas Kane, right? I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. You've got questions you need to ask me? Well, it's worth a try. It won't take very long. What do you want to know? Could you confirm that this list came from here at the bank? Will he say something about the watermark? Well, this, this could have come from almost anywhere, really. You should take a closer look. Your bank's ID code is on the watermark. That means it must have come from here. Uh, I, I wasn't paying attention. Obviously, this paper was printed out from here. Is there a way to establish where it was printed from? The manager already filled me in, but maybe we can learn something more. Oh, I have no idea. You know, there are more than 500 people working here. Your manager told me that this kind of paper was only used by your stock buyers to print out their quotes. That's... that's correct. But there are at least a hundred buyers here, so how do we know which one it is? This guy seems kind of weird. Like he's hiding something from me. Is there a problem, Mr. Kane? Huh? Oh, uh, no. No. Sorry. Is there a way to determine where this particular document was printed out? No, not really. Our printers don't leave any identifiable marks. 
A witness helped us make a composite photo of the suspect. Would you mind taking a look at it for us? Are you all right, sir? Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. I feel tense. I've got to keep cool. This remind you of anyone? Sorry, I, I'm not much for remembering faces. Plus, you know, I, I, I run into a lot of people around here. I understand. But, hey, it was worth a shot, right? Are you sure you're all right? I... I thought that... Excuse me. Have you noticed anything unusual here at the bank lately? They told me about what happened to this guy yesterday. I wonder if he's gonna mention it. Well, I, I don't really know all that many people here. I pretty much do my job and keep to myself, you know? One of your colleagues told me you were acting a bit, well, strangely, yesterday afternoon. Yeah, I, uh, I had a little problem. I didn't really think it was that big of a deal. That's strange. His forearms are bandaged. I wonder what happened to him. Did something happen to your arms? Are my arms part of your investigation? No, of course not. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Is that you in the picture with the priest? Is he a friend of yours? So, what? This investigation is now going to probe my personal life? No. Just curious. Are you sure you're feeling all right? You seem a little peakish. I, I, I might have a little cold. This guy seems mentally unstable. I think he might be our man. I have to be sure. Do you have access to this type of paper, Mr. Kane? Are you accusing me of something, Detective? I'd just like you to answer the question, sir. Uh, no. Since you're the maintenance guy, wouldn't you be loading the printers with paper from time to time? Uh, listen, I, I... I'm gonna have to ask you to come with me down to the police station, sir. I'd like to ask you a few more questions and verify a couple of things. And that's how my story ends. My attitude and answers aroused suspicion. I didn't have an alibi, and my prints matched those found in the restaurant. I'll spend the rest of my days rotting in the New York State Penitentiary. I'll never find out what happened to me on that cold January night, because as far as the rest of the world is concerned, I'm just some murderer. Do you have access to this type of paper, Mr. Kane? Yes, of course. I'm in charge of computer maintenance, so I have access to every type of paper we use. This list could even have been printed out on my printer, if that's what you want to know. Can you tell me where you were on the night of January 26th? Look, I, I wasn't in that restaurant, if that's what you want to know. How did you know that this was an investigation into the restaurant murder? But you said that... I didn't see anything about that. I'm going to have to ask you to come with me down to the station while we verify a few things.
Detective Valenti. Hi, Carla. It's Garrett. The taxi company should have sent you a list of taxi destinations from the same street as the diner the night of the murder. It should be on the facts in your office. Thanks. Bye, Garrett. Bye, Carla. The list of taxi destinations on the night of the murder. If the killer left the scene in a taxi, his address might be here. The list of employees at Naser and Jones. We have the name, address, and photo of everyone who works at the bank. Hey, here's Kane's file. Is he our man? I've seen this address before. Of course! The night of the murder, someone took a taxi to Kane's house. I've got my first link. I'll need another in order to establish proof that Kane is our man. Take a look at this. Ever seen this guy before? That's him. That's the guy from the restaurant. Are you sure, Martin? Positive. This time, there's no reasonable doubt. Lucas Kane is the restaurant killer. I've got to tell Tyler right away. Agatha? Agatha! It's Lucas! Someone just went out the window. Sir, I need to get your name before I can record your message. Sir, the police cruiser will be there in just a few minutes. Can you hear me, sir? Agatha. Dead. They killed her. She was the only one who could help me, the only one who knew. Maybe she left me something. The answer could be here somewhere. Quick, I still have a few minutes to search her apartment before the police get here. What brings you here, young man? Tell me, what is your cage like? There's a piece of paper in this cage. Damn, the door is locked tight. There's gotta be a key somewhere, or at least something to pry it open with. There's a key in the seed bag. Newspaper article from 1928. Why would Agatha want me to see this?
The cupboard is locked. That's how my story ends. Accused of a murder that I didn't commit. It didn't take long for the police to connect me with the murder of a certain John Winston in an East End restaurant. I'll never find out what really happened on that cold January night. Because as far as the rest of the world is concerned, I'm just a killer. Kennedy and Newark airports were shut down today. All flights are canceled for an indeterminate period due to the massive cold wave, which has... Pick up, Marcus, pick up! Hello, my son. What can I do for you? Sir, can I help you with something? Where is he hiding? Marcus! No! It was vital that you bring us the Indigo Child, and you succeeded. Now we can put her in a safe place. You've accomplished your mission well. Here she is. Please, take care of her. Perfect. You are no longer necessary, fool. I can now eliminate you for good. Where's the indigo child? What happened? I was stupid. I gave her to Agatha, or rather to whatever thing it was that took her form. I saved her from the Oracle and then turned her over to the ones who'd been manipulating me the whole time. 